We have a question in the chat, and the question goes, I used to be super ugly, but I had a low-key glow up, and now it's not so bad. Hey, man, those teenage years, you go from, like, being, like, uh, I guess the the ugly st- horse to, like, or the, the ugly pony to the, like, like good-looking horse. I, I don't know how they – we're not swans, so, you know. So that happens. I used to have, like, uh, zits and stuff on my face, and then, like, come 18, I got some proactive and it cleared right up, and I felt – well, I started looking better, but I still felt weird about myself. But anyway, so he says, uh, but I can't get the ugly mentality out of my head since I grew up like that. Are there ways that my insecurity will show even if I manually keep it down or can I just act confident? Well, it's a two-part question. Uh, yes, there are ways that your insecurity will show if you're acting in ways that that project to women that you don't feel confident about yourself. Women can read off energy all day, right? But I'm gonna tell you, I'll tell you a real story, right? When I was growing up as a teenager, I I was considered like the weird kid. Like I would do things like in middle school, I would run through the hallways and do uh, like Mortal Kombat, Liu Kang kicks just because I felt like it. I would be singing cartoon tunes all over the place. Like I was really like that kind of kid. I just like that stuff, you know? And so I got the reputation as a weird kid. And as a result of that, I thought that like no women would like me and I wasn't attractive, right? So uh, spoiler, at, by, towards the end of my high school days, I still didn't really have, I had like one girlfriend for two weeks and then it went away. And then I... I uh, had a few girls that had crushes on me, but I was just so in my head about like, I got to I gotta do all the things for a girl to like me that I wasn't able to see those to fruition and it sucked. And then so I got to college and I still had the mentality of like, girls are going to find me weird. No women are going to want me. And why is that? Well, because let's say you have a glow up, right? But understand that your body and your brain are on two different wavelengths and your brain has to catch up to what your body now is. And unfortunately, because we are creatures of habit and we're, we're creatures of just going, we're, we're like a computer that just runs on autopilot. So whatever thoughts we had about ourselves for a long amount of time, whatever habits we develop with that as a result, because there are habits that are associated with having a lower look uh, view of yourself, that, it, that, that doesn't go away just because we've changed, you know? And so, what I have found is that, you know, when I got to college, women did find me attractive. I had to have a friend that moved to California tell me years later, oh, yeah, all these girls in, these, in this dormitory had a, had, a, had a crush on you or really thought you were handsome. And I was like, me, 18-year-old me, lanky me. Like, I, what? But, it, but I had the view of myself. And so what I had to learn is that ultimately my view of myself is just one view. And more often than not, my view of myself is going to be way harsher than how the rest of the world looks at me. And so what I had to learn to do is this. Let's say I got to a point where like women would say like, oh my God, you're so handsome. This is net. The, the initial reaction I would have in my head was like, that's not a thing. Like they think I'm handsome? Me. Like, yeah, right. And then I stop and think, okay, let me analyze that thought. Why am I, why am I dissing myself? Why am I, why am I, they're trying to give me a compliment. And my first thought is, how dare you? That's not a thing. You shouldn't think that way in, in my head. I'm not saying this out loud, but it's like, why is that? And so I had to learn, hey, if the woman in front of me is the one that's saying that I'm attractive, I'm going to go with her judgment because she's the customer. I'm I'm the thing that she's trying to buy by get me in a hookup situation, relationship situation. So if she is the consumer is finding me attractive, that's all that matters. And so as that happened more and more, I came to realize like, okay, great. There's going to be a bevy of women that are going to find me attractive. And that's absolutely great. That means I know I can find somebody to be with. I'm good. Am I everybody's taste? Probably not, but that's totally fine. But it, it speaks to the fact that like, yeah, your brain's got to catch up a little bit. That's totally fine. I just learned that ultimately if they're saying yes to me, then I can use that as my confidence booster. Like girls coming to you now and saying, oh my God, you're so attractive. Or, hey, I want to, you know, see what's what or whatever. Like, Take that as like, those are all positive things. And just understand, the more that you hear that from other people, you'll start to believe it yourself. But I also found that it was it was good to not completely rely on other people, but to do my own exercises. You know what I thought? This is an interesting little story, I guess, right? For years, I had sinus, sinuses. And like, I was like blowing my nose left and right. I had to take all kinds of medication. And then one day, in the, in the course of me trying to get better at dating, I started saying to myself, okay, I got to see myself in a positive light in order for women to see me in a positive light. So every time I, cause I, and I started really like studying my thoughts and realized that most people walk around saying negative things to themselves. Like, I don't know if you've ever like just sat there and studied what you're actually thinking about as it pertains to yourself. 
Most people are taught to be humble and to not rock the boat, not to be too cocky. And so we start doing the opposite, which is like saying, we're not that great. We're less than this is net. And so I just said to myself, okay, every time I hear in my head myself say a negative thought, I'm going to say five to seven positive things about myself. So I'd be sitting there and be like, you know, oh, that's so stupid. Oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. You're great. You're wonderful. You're awesome. You're amazing. Your friends like you. You're a talented person. You do art well, blah, 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 blah. And in doing that exercise, I would find that every time I would give myself seven compliments, my, my sinuses cleared up. And then I'd think a negative thought and my sinuses would come right back. And I'd say five more positive things and my sinuses got better. And I, so I didn't, I didn't realize just how deep this goes. Where like even the things we say to ourselves can either make us better or like actually cause us to be actually sick. All right. So all, so try that. Try just practicing saying five to seven nice things to yourself every time you start thinking, but I don't look that great. Oh, I'm so ugly. And think, no, wait, girls think I'm pretty. My mom says I'm, I, I look pretty nice. I, I know how to comb my hair or do my hair the right way. I smell pretty good in the morning. Like I'm pretty, just start doing that. And you'll find that over time as you do that, that'll become the new habit slash thought pattern that you have, that you are a great guy, that you are, that you do walk about in this world, that people do have value in you and that you ultimately see value in yourself. So that's just something that helped me to, to get to a better place. So hopefully that can help you out as well.